Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Well, I'm in my summer school room with robotics and it's elementary school age kids and it's going to be just awesome this summer. Uh, what I want to do today on this video is show you, those of you that might be starting off with Lego EV3 Mindstorms, I want to show you a really cool, quick brick program that will amaze your students that will use the color sensor. Let's check this out. So I'm using a harvester bot that has a ultrasonic. I'll show you how to use that in a second. And then the color sensor down here. Quick, easy build. I'll put the link in the description on how to get this harvester robot built. Actually, I'll also leave a link at the end of this video on how to uh, make this robot. But let me go ahead and show you the program and then show you how it works. Okay, I have my brick turned on here and I'm just gonna go to the third tab that has a brick program, so right there really super easy um, I just had second and third grade students yesterday program this obviously they were following my directions but you know it was easy enough for them to follow so we're gonna start with our first block which is gonna be just this move tank block and we just want the robot to go forward until it sees blue so we're gonna go to the right and up and we're just gonna go ahead and add this now there's two color sensor blocks. We're gonna choose the one that actually lets us choose a color. Now obviously the uh, tape on the floor is blue. So I wanna change this to blue. So there's blue right there. So the robot's gonna go forward, <clears throat> excuse me. And when it sees blue, we're gonna go ahead and add another block here. We want the robot to turn around. So if it sees blue, turn around and obviously we want to put a time on this. Two seconds is too long so I'm going to drop this to one second. And we want this program to just keep going on and on and on so we're going to go ahead and loop that program. Whoops. Okay, there's the loop. So, just to recap. The robot will go forward. If it sees blue, it will uh, turn around or spin for one second. So if we do this right, the robot should stay within the blue area here. Um, I even made some smaller ones if the students didn't want to watch the robot go forever inside here, um, just to have it go inside. So let's go ahead to the video of the students actually doing this. Is yours program working? Yeah. Looks like that's is that yours? Yeah. Looks like it's working great. I named him Rob. <laughs> Why is your robot named Rob? Short for robot? Nintendo accessory Rob the <laughs> there you go, that looks good. It breaks it and it goes out in a circle. Yes, I want, I want, I want. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. So hopefully you liked um, that program. It just goes to show you that it doesn't have to be super complicated to be really neat for the kids to see. Um, so I just wanted to show you that real quick. It's just a four block program that you loop. And the kids just really love to see, you know, the robot not leave that blue area. So I, I usually tell the kids, hey, you know, can picture that as your living room and it's a robot that can vacuum the floor and we can program it to just stay in that area. So it's really neat. Um, hopefully those of you that are just starting off can, can take this and run with it and go, yeah, that's a nice beginning program to just kind of get started if you're just learning EV3 right now. Okay guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.